It's time for a two-minute timeout with Joe Shuda. Mark Bruner had a 14-year NFL career, nine with the Steelers. He explains the odds of playing Division I football and making it in the NFL. The Division I athletes were the best athletes in their particular area where they grew up. And you're seeing colleges, not only back when I was in, in the early 90s when I was in college, they were the recruiting was more regionally. And now you're actually seeing more of a national recruiting efforts by most of these schools. And if you really try to break it down, there's several hundred thousand high school athletes, if not close to a million high school athletes that want to play collegiately Division One. Usually about two, two and a half percent of those guys actually get a chance to go play at the next level at a Division One school. And then through fruition or for whatever the reason might be, there's even a smaller number that's available to, to the NFL ranks. And less than one percent of those uh, young men get a chance to play in the NFL. And there's only 256 players drafted every year. So of the hundreds of thousands of eligible college athletes, we only select 256 of them in the draft. And then obviously there's several more that are chosen to be free agency. But along those lines, the average NFL career is three and a half years. You know, here at the professional ranks, you have to keep your body in, in the best shape possible. You know, injuries are a big, big part of the game. And, and there's, there's a lot of positive things that can come from this game. But the athletes have to understand that, you know, that, that we're all lucky to be involved in it. And, and we have to have things go our way uh, at the right time in the right, right place. So the Ben Roethlisberger's, the, the Tom Brady's, the Marquise Pounceys of, of the world, those guys are, are rarity. And it's, it's one of those things where you're going to be a former player a lot longer than you're going to be a current player. You know, guys need to have their dreams and aspirations and it has to be the difference makers. But in all reality, it's a very, very few select group of young men that get a chance to continue to play both at the college level and the pros. I'm Joe Shuda with this two-minute timeout.